Hi, this is Scott Geitler from Blue Water Photo, and today we're going to talk about the Aquatica Nikon D500 underwater housing. This is the Nikon D500 camera, and this is the Aquatica housing. I have been using this camera and housing all weekend um, for some wildlife and also in my pool, shooting a variety of subjects. And after about 10 hours, I've become quite familiar with the camera and the housing, and they are amazing, mind-blowing, as in you, you have to get this camera. This camera shoots at a, a really nice 10 frames per second. It just... It's like shooting with a machine gun. It is so much fun. And the difference between 10 and five frame per, frames per second is like night and day. It's like once you have 10, you never want to go to anything slower. And I've been shooting a lot of action in the pool. And if you look on our website, you will, you'll find a lot of the sample photos. And the 10 frames per second has allowed me to capture a lot of incredible photos that I never would have been able to capture otherwise. Another thing you need to know about this camera is that the high ISO performance is excellent. ISO 8000, 12000, 25000, 50000. You can get really nice usable photos at very high ISOs. So um, that just opens up to a whole new world of either fast action shooting or low light or practically night shooting. Last but not least, um, this camera makes video very easy. It shoots 1080p video at 60 frames per second, which is great for shooting a lot of the high speed action video that I took this weekend and also 4K video, which looks phenomenal. And I shot a lot of the 4K video and the, the video settings right out of the box of this camera are really nice. I have the Tekina 10 to 17 fish islands on this camera, which is one of my favorite lenses of all time to use. Let's take a little look at this Aquatica housing. I have the dome port, the four inch glass dome port on this, which is what I recommend for close focus wide angle when using the Tekina fisheye lens. And what really differentiates the Aquatica housing over all the other housings is its, its build quality, its finish, its when you, when you take this housing and you feel it, you feel like it was built by, by NASA, literally. Like, I feel like I could throw this in a volcano and if I pulled it out right away, it would be, it would be fine. Um, this housing is not bending, an elephant could step on it and it would probably be great. Um, it's, it's really in a whole class of its own when you, when you look at how this is, is made and machined. So I've already put the tray on the on the camera it's a small tray and you have to tighten it with a quarter and make sure you tighten it very tightly so it doesn't it doesn't get loosened up on its own um, the tray goes on extremely secure i really like their design they have these two steel pins that come out i think they're steel maybe they're t titanium for all i know i should ask but um i'm gonna put it in here line it up with the pins and before you push it all the way in, you have um, the autofocus uh, AFC AFS lever. You pull out the lens release lever. You pull out, and you don't really need to pull this um, rear dial out, but you, you could if you want to. And take this, you push it in, and it snaps. Very easy. Now, the Aquatica housing can ship with fiber optics or Nikonis bulkheads. This one has Nikonis bulkheads, so I'm going to put the sink cable in there. And I'm going to click on the info button and test that little AFC switch. And I got it right the first time. Nice. So this little lever works great and it allows me to turn autofocus on or off. And it also uh, allows me to push in here and switch the autofocus area modes and the focus modes, which I do a lot, which is really, um, they have some really nice autofocus modes on this, on this camera. I've been shooting in AFC mode the whole time in the pool and I, I have not taken one shot out of focus because of this camera. 
Now I'm going to close this up and by the way, I love how this housing just, just stands up. I can work on it while it's just standing up. It doesn't tilt over. I don't have to put it down on my, uh, on my lap or anything. And we are all good to go. All the controls are working really nicely. This is extremely precision machine. So I can review images. Uh, I have an info button to see all my settings. I can switch to live view. Um, in live view, I have video and photo mode. Um, I have my autofocus lever, the shutter. The shutter on this is great. When you're shooting 10 frames per second high action, the second the subject appears in front of you, you need to be able to shoot and shoot fast like that. So the place where this shutter is, it's like a hair trigger, which is what you want. You just pull and it's shooting. Also, where the record button is, is perfect because um, this takes great video. And when the moment's in front of you, you wanna be able to press record on the video button and it's right where it is, effortless. The other thing I really love about this housing, I use this ISO lever a lot. And what I do is I, I use my finger and then I push down and then I can adjust my ISO with the rear control dial. Also, if I push with my thumb and use a front control dial, I can switch between ISO and auto ISO. And auto ISO, I can do a whole nother talk on that, but that's another really amazing feature of this camera that allows you to have the camera change your ISO to get the perfect exposure and you can fix your shutter speed and your aperture. So I am in love with auto ISO on the Nikon D500. Um, Thousand is equipped with a 180 degree viewfinder, which makes the image huge. It makes it so easy to compose. Um, the zoom letter lever is nice. It's in a, it's in a perfect place. Um, you have full control over everything of the camera. The handles are really, really comfortable. Um, I would say if you want a very nice, highly machined, accurate, reliable housing, this is, this is the way to go. Um, it does take a few extra seconds to get your camera into this housing, um, to get it out. It has a nice port lock. Um, you do have to twist the port off. So if, uh, if you're like an impatient person, you just want to throw your, your camera in there and, and close it up, then this may not be the, the right housing for you. There are housings that have less steps in terms of putting it in and taking it out. Um, Sometimes I, I sort of bang my fingers a little bit on the latches because the space between the latches and the handles are a little tight. But I think all those things are, are worth it for the, uh, for the precision and, and accuracy of the controls. Like I said, all your key controls I can reach uh, from this handle without, without having to stretch at all. And same with the play button on the left. You have a white balance button. Info, I, I use a lot, and then I just stretch over. You press the info button, and you can see all your settings nice and bright in the, in the LCD. So if you have any questions about whether the Aquatica housing is right for you, um, questions on lens selection, uh, the Sigma 17 to 70 millimeter lens works great with this camera, the Nikon 60 millimeter macro, 105 millimeter macro, Nikon 10 to, uh, to 22, 10 to 24 wide angle lens are all great choices. And like I said, once you experience the high speed shooting of this camera and see the exceptional video quality, you're really going to, to fall in love with it. Uh, you can contact me at scott, S-C-O-T-T, -T, at bluewaterphotostore.com or visit our website, and I hope to speak to you soon. Thanks.